All right, so here we go. Nectaris dissection. Let's do this. I'm going to pinch the back right here, right in front of the cloaca. So there's a little bit of a little lip in the skin, and I'm going to make a series of small cuts. Now notice that I'm making a lot of little ones until I feel that stick. You kind of saw that stick back there. You want to keep cutting until you feel like all of a sudden you've popped through something or like you've poked a hole. You don't want to go any deeper than that. That means you're inside the body cavity. Now I'm going to make a lot of little cuts as I move up this uh, ventral line. I'm just kind of moving right to the left of it, as you can see here. I'm going to make all these little cuts because, honestly, the skin is not very thick. So if you cut too deep, too early, you run the risk of puncturing an organ. It's always better to do this slowly, kind of very slowly make your way into the body cavity. This takes me about five minutes to open up a nectaris. So if you're going faster than that, chances are you're rushing. You should slow down. Stop that thing you're doing and think about what you're doing. All right, so I'm going to continue moving up just to the left. The reason I'm going just to the left is so that I avoid most of the major organs. I don't uh, run the risk of puncturing anything because nobody wants that. So I'm going to start making the lateral cut now. So the lateral cuts are actually pretty hard. The reason for that is you're kind of going against a lot of muscular tissue up here. So sometimes it helps to lift up the skin so you can get a better angle on the cut. Now again, I'm going to make a lot of really little cuts. I'm not going to try to do this all at once. Just little cuts. I'll do the same thing over here. I wonder what I should name him. I think I'll name him Kevin. Seems like a good name for a Nectaris. I'm going to continue opening up Kevin's body cavity here, just keeping on cutting little cuts, nothing big. Don't go crazy. Now if you see any like liquid coming up, that's totally normal. Honestly, you want to keep as much of the liquid inside the animal as possible so that it doesn't dry up. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing in the back, right in front of the hind legs. You may need to open up that back cut a little bit. I'm going to get rid of some of this connective tissue up here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, so we're going to cut a little bit more. And then I'm going to make that lateral cut in the back. That way we'll have two flaps that we can open up so we can get inside this Nectaris. Or Kevin. Don't worry. Kevin can't feel anything. He's already dead. So again, going with really small cuts here. Be careful because this is your, you could puncture a couple of the organs down here. The ones near the bottom are pretty fragile. Small and large intestines included. Don't want to puncture those. Make some more small cuts. Now you'll notice that I've kind of been moving around the room and it's a little hard to see what I'm doing there. But you'll notice I'm kind of moving around the table. The reason I'm doing that is just to get better angles on my cuts. I'm not going to stay in one place. So you may need to move around a little bit. All right, that seems pretty good. Might open it up a little bit more. Hey, Kevin. Sorry, buddy. All right, so opened up that side. I'm going to cut a little more over here. Now again, like I said, the scalpel is very sharp. So please be careful. Um, your fingers will probably be close to it, but just watch what you're doing. Use your eyes. All right, so we're pretty good here. So the last little bit is we need to pin this open. That way you won't have to uh, hold it open the whole time. You can uh, look around a little bit easier. So we'll stick a pin in there. Stick three more. Two in each side should be fine. You shouldn't need more than that. Let's not waste pins. Because remember, you got to clean everything you use, so the less stuff you use, the better. All right, let's get one more. One more in there. And there you have it. 
the end. <laughs>